everybody to hashtag bet that. I am your host, Mike Knox. But people, you already know that Brandon Lang has nothing on me. And people, let me be the first one to say this to you from me. Happy NFL football season, baby! We are back and we are better than ever. People, first, the particulars. People, that's what people don't know. Follow me on Twitter at, at Mike Knox. And indeed, it's spoke with three X's because, like the picks, I'm picking every single week and you will. Oh, I promise you will win the money. As the hashtag says, bet that Mike Knox. Three X's. Because it's hardcore, people. Also, follow the station, giving you the identification at 1340 AM Fox Sports as well. Tune in, listen to the show, the pros, icons, and ayatollahs of rock and rollers. Also, listen to hashtag soul, S-O-U-L, Kepler in sports, people. The NFL is here tomorrow night. The returning, yes, it's my team, so let's be honest here. Super Bowl champion Philadelphia Eagles open up at home against the Atlanta Falcons and those who don't know, who don't listen to the Soul and Sports on Fox Sports Radio every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I have picked the Atlanta Falcons to win the AFC South. Now, betting football games are is a hard thing. Anybody can pick your winners and losers. That's not hard. I mean, I can go in right now. I can go out here. I can yell to my ch- to my daughter to come here. Hey, Michaela, come here, and she can say this team, that team, this team. That don't make her a professional. What makes me a professional, what makes me good at what I do is that I give you inside information on how to play these games, why to play these games, and at the end of the day, hashtag bet that you will win that money, okay? As my friend, or I would like to wish he was my friend, uh, Jerry Maguire would say, show me the money! That is my job. I'm going to show you the money. You just have one thing to do, and that's bet that, okay, people? So the Philadelphia Eagles... Open up at home. A lot of pressure going on with the Philadelphia Eagles. They finally get the Lombardi Trophy off their backs, if you will. They're defending Super Bowl champions. So that means the bullseye is upon them even more, even bigger than it ever was before. We're fans. I mean, hell, some of our fans go out there and eat horse poop, for heaven's sakes, right? So, I mean, we're crazy. We're nuts. But I'm not too nuts to say the Eagles, two points at home against Atlanta, can win this game. Okay, Nick Foles did not look good in preseason. Actually, he looked at putrid. That's the word that Stephen A. Smith used. I'm going to borrow that one. He looked putrid in the preseason, okay? The running game didn't look so well. The receivers didn't look so well. The offensive line didn't look so well. But guess what, people? The defense does still look that damn good. Shout out to Triple H, okay? So, Philadelphia at home. And thank you, Vegas. The line opening up was three and a half. It was three and a half. Now it's just two points. Take the Philadelphia Eagles to win this game tomorrow night to open the season against the Atlanta Falcons. And hear me out, people. You're like, well, why? Why? Last time they had this game in Philadelphia, who won the football game? Sarcesian's offense wasn't maybe all what it should be. I believe in Atlanta. I think Atlanta will be in the NFC Championship or at least knocking on the door for the NFC Championship. I just think with all the hoopla, hoopla that's going on, I mean, heck, if if Eminem hasn't yet come up with a diss record for, for what's that dude? I'm a rap devil. Him, okay? Uh, 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 I don't even know his name, okay? That's how that's important he was to me. But if, if he ain't came back and, and, and came with a diss record with uh, MGK or whatever his name is, then why would I believe all of a sudden now Atlanta... With the, with the strength of what the Philadelphia Eagles have in this team, they are by far, people, the deepest team in the NFL. That defensive front, not the best defensive front, but the defensive front is very stout, very good rotations in there. The secondary is getting better. The Eagles' defense is better than it was last year. Hashtag bet that. Give me the Philadelphia Eagles. Then we got already, already, second pick out the box. Already, already. Your first time of the year, first time of the year, upset special, people, the Cleveland Browns. That's right, people, not your father's Cleveland Browns. Matter of fact, hell, not even your cousin's Cleveland Browns. They are at home against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Pittsburgh is getting four games, but if you know anything about what I do here the best, that's, a, that's, that's, a, that's, that's really a seven-point game Vegas is given. The Pittsburgh Steelers over Cleveland. I think Cleveland not only covers the four points. Give me Cleveland outright. 
Hashtag lock in up. Upset of the week. The Cleveland Browns will be what they haven't been and God knows how long a first game winner and first place at the week one. Give me Cleveland and take the four points. Then we got the Minnesota Vikings. Well, last time we saw them, we know what happened. Nick Foles and the Philadelphia Eagles showed them um, how to win something at home. Uh, taking on San Francisco, everybody's darlings of the NFL because of Jimmy G and what those guys have put together. But you know what has also been put together pretty good darn well? The Minnesota Vikings defense. And can Kurt Cousins... Here in the, in the DMV, I like to call him the magic man because now you see me. Now you don't. Kirk Cousins, he has an offense, guys. What Washington, and which is a shame because I believe in Kirk Cousins, did not give him, which is offensive players. Give me Minnesota and the six points at home against San Francisco. Then we got the Indianapolis Colts favored by three points. Are you kidding me, Vegas? Favored by three points over the Cincinnati Bumbles? I get it, people. What has Cincinnati done for me lately? But the question is, what has Andrew, I'm beginning to run out of luck, done for you recently? I know what he hasn't done for you. That's put money in your pockets, right? What my man Trey today say? He said, put your hands in your pockets, right? Then you're going to put some money between your legs. Go ahead and pay for this breakfast. Right now, I'm telling you how to pay for this game. I'm going to do it. I was going to save it for later, but my lock of the week right now Lock of the week, Cincinnati Bungles will go into Indianapolis and win the game. But if they don't win, they're going to cover, so you still win as well. Also, we got the Baltimore Ravens fired by seven over the Buffalo Bills. I don't like this line. I think Buffalo defense can do enough. I believe in Baltimore's defense to do enough to win the game. Offenses on both sides have me topsy-turvy, if you will. I don't like this game. If you don't want to touch it, don't touch it. I wouldn't touch it. But if you want to touch the game, I'm going to go ahead and hit Buffalo to cover the points. Not win the game. Baltimore wins the game by three, maybe four points. I don't like the seven. If the line drops between now and Sunday, then you go ahead and switch that line. But right now, give me Buffalo to cover the seven against Baltimore at, on the road. Then we got Jacksonville. Saxonville, as they call it, going into New York. You got Eli Manning getting a chance to get it right. You got the, the 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 best, the next best thing, if you will, so to speak, in the NFL running back department, and Saquon Barkley, okay, for the Giants making his debut. You got they showed him the money, Mr. Uh, Odell Beckham. A lot in New York is to be desired for, but will you get a chance to bite the apple? Listen, I like the Giants more than a lot of people do. I think if you give them time, Eli, that is, with that new offensive line, hey, listen, hey, you may not like Nick Salter, but when the market calls for you, you go out there and you spend the money, okay? They get that, okay? The defense will bounce back from where they were not last year. I do not like Jacksonville on the road going into MetLife Stadium winning this game. Another do not touch, but guess what, y'all? Like the sides of great foods, as Vincent Kennedy McMahon once told you, I got them. There's called balls. Give me the Jacksonville Jaguars to cover the three points against the Giants. Just say if you don't want to touch it, I wouldn't touch another hashtag do not touch game right there. Then you got New Orleans, a divisional matchup at home against Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay might be the weakest team in the NFC this year. Ten points. Number one rule in handicapping, people, is double-digit leads in the NFL are disrespectful. Also, week one games in the NFL are the hardest games to handicap. So why, Vegas? Oh, why, Vegas? Would you give me 10 points? You're enticing me. It's like, it's like I go outside my door and then go Halle Berry sitting right next to Carrie Hilson. And my wife's in the middle saying, baby, go ahead and have a taste. What am I supposed to do with 10 points? It's, it's, it's New Orleans at home. It's New Orleans at home. I got Carrie Houston, my wife's permission, with Halle Berry from Swordfish telling me it's 10 points, though. It's Tampa Bay. What are you going to do? The wife gave me permission. I'm going to take a bite. Forget that rule about double digit in the NFL. It's disrespectful. Drew Brees and the New Orleans Saints will win this game by the 10 points. Give me New Orleans. Also, we got New England for about seven over Houston at home. Guess what, y'all? Y'all may not like this one. Matter of fact, some of y'all might turn me off. Hell, some of you might have turned me off by now, but that's okay. That's your loss because you didn't hashtag bet that. But I'm going to tell you right now, another upset alert is in the building. Houston will cover the points 
against New England and that seven points. I damn near, I'm telling you right now, I damn near want to double dog myself to take Houston to win the game outright. I just need to see a little bit more from that offense. But I do believe Houston can win this game, so it's why I'm taking the Houston Texans and seven points. Like, you're going to give me seven with that defense and that offensive line that they got over there? The trouble that New England has? I get, people, it's the great, all-amazing Bill Belichick. I get it's Super Tom Brady. I get it. It's what they do. They win 12 games every year. What are you going to do? What I'm not going to do, what I'm not going to allow you to make me do, is not take to not think that I got eyes. And my eyes, and what I read, and what I see, and what I know. Seven points, New England, you're in trouble. Give me Houston to cover that seven points. Tennessee, for everybody, two points on the road against Miami. Give me Tennessee. Enough said there. My pick to win the AFC West, the Los Angeles Chargers are at home against Kansas City. And listen, Patrick Mahomes will be a problem. He wasn't just throwing 94 miles an hour in high school pitching off the pitching mound. The boy is going to be a problem. This is not Madden football where he can't do number throw a slant route, y'all. This is real life. However, I like Los Angeles Chargers to cover that three-point and win that game outright. Sorry, Fan Andy. Then we got the team, the game. That, well, I don't even know why I want to touch it. This is another, the third one of the week. It's the hashtag do not touch special right here. It's Denver at home against Seattle. I don't know what you're going to get. Don't touch this game. If you touch this game, you need to call 1-800-GAMBLING-ANONYMOUS. Whatever the number is, I'm going to find it and put it right here, right below, right here, right now. You need to put that right there. Call Gam Gamblers Anonymous because you have a betting issue if you bet Denver versus Seattle. Then we got Carolina Fair by three over Dallas. Listen, I love what Dallas um, wants to do. I don't see what Dallas can do from the receiving core. I think that the Carolina Panthers will put eight, maybe nine in the box and dare uh, them to beat them some other kind of way. And I don't think it can happen. The uh, Cowboys offensive line has had some troubles. we got some players that's not going to play this week. I, I like Carolina at three points. No hatred towards Dallas. I like Dallas. I probably got them picking on me, having a good chance to win the AFC. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, the NFC East this year uh, between them and the Giants coming in second behind my Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, still no hatred there. Just don't like this game for Dallas opening up. And if you're doing fantasy football, please, which I have Ezekiel Elliott, he, he's not going to give me many points in week one. So then we got the Arizona Cardinals in a pick -em game against the Washington Redskins on the road. Listen, I'm going Washington on the road. The East Coast team going west to win this game. It's a pick -em game. So how have some fun. Pick who you got. I'm picking Washington. Then we got the Packers of Green Bay. Okay, uh, and the Sunday nighter against Khalil, woo, Mac Daddy Bears, uh, Monster of the Midway Part 2, if you will. Listen, eight points in Lambeau Field against this Bears defense. The Bears have no offense that we've seen really much of. Do you believe in Mitch Trubisky? I want to believe in Mitch Trubisky, but he needs to make me believe in Mitch Trubisky. Okay, like I said about the New England Patriots, how long will we continue to let these quarterbacks Get by because of what they've done every single year. Well, damn it, they're going to keep doing it. Guess what? I like Green Bay to win the game. Eight points. Ah, ah. Give me the Bears to cover this all the way to the bank, people. Then we got Monday Night Football. The Detroit Lions and the uh, debut of Matt Patricia. Ferried by seven points over the New York Football Jets. I like the Jets. I actually think the Jets can have a good chance in this game. I don't like the seven. I don't like the Jets on the road on Monday night in the big brawl lights with Sam Donald starting, giving Detroit to win the game outright. Then we got in the double header, the Los Angeles Rams, fair about four points over Oakland. Listen, say what you want to say. Okay, here it is. If you haven't heard the Stolen Sports on Fox Sports Radio 1340 AM and Fox Sports Radio 96.9 FM. NFC, it goes Philadelphia. It goes Minnesota. It goes Los Angeles Rams. It goes Atlanta Falcons, and it goes New Orleans Saints. You pick them how you want to pit them. You want to flip-flop any one of them top three teams between the Eagles, Minnesota, and Los Angeles. Los Angeles is real. The question is, can they put all that realness together on the football field? We shall see people. There you have it. Hashtag bet that. My winners from the bottom to the top because now we're here. Back in NFL week one, baby. Give me the Rams. Give me the Detroit Lions. Give me Chicago to cover. Give me Washington. Give me Carolina. Do not touch Seattle and Denver, people. Do not. Uh, uh, do not touch them, okay? Give me the Chargers. Give me Tennessee. Give me Houston to cover against New, um, New England. Give me New Orleans Saints. Ten points. My God, it was Halle Berry, and it was uh, Kerry Hilton with my wife's permission to I can't help it, okay? Give me New Orleans uh, to win that game. Give me Jacksonville. Give me uh, 
Buffalo, give me Cincinnati with my upset of the week. Give me Minnesota, give me my lock of the week. I mean, my other upset of the, no, my lock of the week, I'm sorry, go back, is Cincinnati. My upset of the week is the Cleveland Browns, and then I also got the Philadelphia Eagles, and that might be a homer pick. If Atlanta wins this game, I won't be too surprised. I'm just believing in the home dog. I think the, uh, the Eagles are bigger, uh, deeper. You can't come to Philadelphia, the toughest place in the NFL to play, okay? Say what you want to say. You can play in any other city. There is no city harder and rougher and more scrutiny to play in than the city of brotherly love. And trust me, people, there's no love there. Hashtag bet that. I'm Mike Knox. I'm out of here, y'all. Fingers.